In the last session, we looked at the concept of hypothesis. Now, in this session, I'm going to propose hypothesis for this particular model that we proposed earlier. Now, we are going to have our direct relationships. Now, what is a direct relationship? The influence of servant leadership on each of these here is your direct relationship. Now, this relationship here with this relationship is direct relationship. However, the impact of servant leadership on environmental behavior through green identity is your indirect relationship. So you can have both hypotheses. Now normally my preference is that we propose all the different hypotheses. Now let's me let me do both direct, indirect and then moderating role as well. So your H1. Let, let me type it. So your H1 there is a significantly or there is a significant and positive significantly positive impact of servant leadership on green identity now similarly that i've done now h1 you can do h2 where is your h2 let me copy this one so that we can do it quickly copy this it here significantly positive impact of servant leadership on green empowerment now this is h2 and similarly what you can do is this is h1 this is h2 you can say this is your h3 you can say this is your h4 you can say this is your h5 or you can Turn this one, the main one, as H1 and then H2, H3, H4, H5. Let's say this is your H6, this is your H7, H8, H9. Now that the direct relationships are done, let's do the mediation or mediating hypothesis. How to do this? Let's have a look. So I'm going to do one here. Let's say it is H7, 8, 9, so H10 green identity mediates the relationship between servant leadership and envir environmental behavior. So this is your mediating hypothesis and again you can do the same for the other ones as well. Now this is your H10. Let's say this is your H11. Green empowerment mediates the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior this is your h12 this is your h13 and this here now is your h14 the moderating role of green locus of control now how do you write your moderating hypothesis this is slightly technical but very easy so your h14 if i'm not wrong green locus of control moderates the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior. Now this is not enough. You have to explain how it moderates such that higher locus or rather green locus of control strengthens the relationship between SL and EV. Now this is how it is moderated. This is how green locus of control moderates the relationship between SL and EV. So if you're if you've got higher locus of control, the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior gains strength. That is, it is further strengthened in presence of higher green locus of control. So this is how you write your direct hypothesis, your mediating or mediation hypothesis and your moderation hypothesis. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to propose your hypothesis for a research paper or thesis. Thank you very much.